And earlier today, we spoke with Congresswoman Barbara Lee, who gave her account of what it was like to be in the Capitol on that day. I put two and two together, not knowing what would take place, but knowing something was going to go down, never thinking what went down would be this, this violent and tragic. But I actually wore my tennis shoes that day. Again, because I, I just knew that there were possibilities that I didn't even want to think about. But I was going to be there to witness the peaceful transfer of power as one of our uh, leadership members uh, on, on the leadership team. And so never did I think that um, the peaceful transfer of power would almost be thwarted uh, through a coup. And this is what it was. It was an attempted coup. So one year later, still so many questions out there. What would you, at this point, most like to see answered? Well, what I want to see answered, first of all, those who perpetrated, planned, and executed this uh, attempted coup need to be brought to justice. Uh, no one is above the law. Uh, and so I'm thankful that Chairman Benny Thompson and the committee is moving forward, gathering the facts. Uh, soon there will be public hearings and we'll lay out exactly what happened so that we will have a good and the public will know exactly who did what, when, and where. Secondly, uh, we've got to protect our democracy. And so I think January 6th really showed what uh, for, for the fragile nature of our democracy, but it also showed how resilient we are because we, we survived that. Now, former President Trump was planning to hold a press conference on the one-year anniversary of the attack, but that has been canceled. President Biden will deliver his own speech refuting claims of election fraud and pinning the blame for the attack on President Trump.